Good morning, chat. How you guys doing, everybody? Harley Knight, good to see you there. Good to see you, Chris. Hello. Art King in the house. Rich386. Good morning. Bulldog trading. What's up, my brother? Got our yellow badge intern in the chat. There's our, our man, MIA420187. What's up, man? Good to see you, Jane Hammond. Good morning to you. Hello, hello. Been back a little bit. Do a couple other shout outs here. We see Zargo's up in there as well. Hello, Zargo. Craig's Outdoor Adventures. Welcome, everybody, to your Wednesday morning. We got the Dow futures up a little bit, bouncing from some inflation news yesterday. The S&P futures are up a little, 0.5. NASDAQ futures up a little at 0.7. We got oil up 1.2%. Okay, so first things first. One thing that we like to do here at Bulldog Trading is we like to record our short reports live and on the spot. We usually like to do that first thing. Let's get right to it. Good morning and welcome to Rock in the Morning's short report here at Bulldog Trading. It is April 13th. It's a Wednesday. We're at 7.07 .07 in the morning and let's jump right to it. First up, we're going to see our AMC's short interest. Let's pop you over here. And looking like AMC is sitting at 19.99%. Next up, let's go to GME. GameStop won't stop. Short interest data today, looking like 19.09. A little bit less than AMC. Uh, let's look up our sympathy plays to both of those, meaning, you know, AMC holds a little bit of this HYMC. And if anybody didn't catch the extra little bit of AMC news yesterday, they have, I think it's 66 new screens that they just bought. I think it was uh, a few uh, theaters that they acquired on the East Coast. Some of them I know uh, somewhere in Annapolis, Maryland. I'm in Maryland. We have 5.8%, uh, and it's on the threshold list, and that's for our HYMC. Let's look at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is a Ryan Cohen type company here, 17.6%. Next up, we got that FOMO list up there. That FOMO list, we're going to go through it with our short interest report. Uh, that is the movers and shakers in pre-market as of 7.08 in the morning on Wednesday. So depending on when you are checking in on this, uh, it could be changing. But again, it'll be from the top down on our FOMO list. ATRS is first. We got the short interest data here, 2.75. Looking at SRRA. And the data that we're using right now, in case you're wondering what a uh, screen we're looking at, we are using Ortex. Ortex is our most up-to-date data that we have in the market as retail investors. Uh, for a lot of different data, uh, we're using it for a short report right now. We see that SRRA is sitting at a decent 25.24% SRRA. Next up, got KLDO. Polido. here, 10.4% KLDO. Next up, AGRX. Agile Therapeutics, 0.9%. Looking at FEDU, it's uh, Four Seasons. Let's see what we have here at Four Seasons. 0%. Stab. Stab's got to have a little bit of short interest, right? Let's see. Statera. Well, that's a little less stabby, the name. Yeah, it's 0.25%. Looking at HPK, that's high peak. HPK. High peak energy. 18.35%. That's the second uh, highest we've seen on the list so far, the FOMO list. HPK. Then we have NMTR. Uh, nine meters. Let's see here. Nine meters sitting at 4.6%. AMYT is there. AMYT. Now you can tell even in real time, our FOMO list is switching around. So we're getting a couple bonus ones in here. 0.17%. And the bottom of that is PRQ. 
QR to wrap up our FOMO list short report side of things. All right, and that's a 2.2%. Now, this data is coming to at you at 7.11 in the morning. We do this all day long. We have a 24-hour stream going on on stocks and crypto if you're watching this video separately. So uh, feel free to come check us out, and we can use this in real time. Let's go ahead and we'll check out some of our high sentiment plays throughout the community, ones that have been moving a lot this week and that are being talked a lot about online right now. One of them being a t e r that's a Tyrion. this has been kind of the number one talked about stock in the past uh, week or so crazy short interest last we looked in let's see what's up we're at 41.23 percent it has been climbing every single morning that we've been doing it i've been keeping it track here on my notepad we're at uh 37 then up to 40 now up to 41 so we are climbing it's also on the threshold list uh i know that right now the uh, the NAs that are around me there, uh, all of that information gets filled in uh, as the hours tick by throughout the day. And I can say that the cost to borrows are uh, very high on this one, I think 300% plus. Right now it says NA because it's in pre-market. It will keep updating as we go. But in the short report, what matters to us is the short interest of the free float and also the little bonus thing, that little highlighted red part, the threshold list. If they're on that too, that's kind of a little extra piece of info I like thinking of. Next up, we got our M-U-L-N, Mullen. Let's check our data out here. 15.36% on the threshold list as well. That's Mullen. Let's check out G-F-A-I. G-F-A-I has been a play. Uh, it's been very interesting to watch. I know that people within the community have been playing this one as well. We're at 15.48% and it's on the threshold list. Let's look at SST. SST has also been a high sentiment one recently. It's been third or fourth talked about online a lot of times. SST is sitting at 29.41%, decently high there as well. Also on the threshold list. Okay, next up, let's go ahead we will take a quick look at the data that Ortex provides on the short end of things that we have arranged in terms of short scores being at the top. Just to peek in, we still have Tattooed at the tattooed Chef at the top of that. Blink is now number two. Go EV and Weber. We see Beam and there's Danae still climbing. Joanne and FUV, VLNS, BMTX, EVGO, SENS, Smile Direct, DTC, Sweet Green, Life Science, JNX, Lemonade, and Lyle. And we'll chill it out there a little bit. Maybe pull back upwards. Now these plays that I'm scrolling through on the screen, uh, of course do your own research on these, own do, uh, DD, but these ones are arranged in a confluence of uh, factors here. You've got the uh, percentage of the free float, the short interest of the free float combined with the cost to borrow, uh, on loan utilization, a few other factors to get this list together. And it puts it in a score, which is right above the menu word. So you can see now we're at the Tattooed Chef, which is at the top part there. Okay, next up, bonus on our short report is at the end. As of right now, we're about 7.15 in the morning on Wednesday morning. So this is like up-to-date stuff as fast as we can get it out there to inform our day. We're going to check the trending symbols out that's being talked about online in the past you know 24 hours and so and really this morning big time to see what can influence our uh, thoughts for our own dds you know we got shiba at the top i think still playing off of that news of getting itself listed on robin hood so way to go shiba jpm we have uh the earnings that actually we will be reading earnings live on air uh here shortly we have Delta Airlines in number three, PayPal, Aquagoat, uh, Actinium Pharmaceuticals, that's A-T-N-M, which I believe, was that? No, that's not one of the ones. That was A-T-R-S, that's at the top of the FOMO. I remember saying an A-T. Uh, B-L-K, S-R-R-A, now that one is number two on our FOMO list, and that is also being talked a lot about online, so that's interesting. 
Alchemy and Vertical Aerospace. It's EVTL. So these ones were the trending. Let's look at the most active ones in the past 24 hours. We got Spy, Shiba, Adder, AMC, Mullen, Viru. How about Viru? Uh, I don't know if you guys watched Viru or not. Uh, that was pretty wild. QQQ, Tesla, SST, and Bitcoin. And next up, you know, I like this list. This is the watchers list. So these symbols have been added to people's watch lists in the past 24 hours. Uh, I like to watch where eyes are. Shib at the top, ATNM. So that's another time now. Have you seen ATNM? A couple of these lists, of course, we probably would. It's using the uh, kind of the same uh, site here. However, now my eyes are starting to see things twice. I like to see Confluence, other lists. Perhaps uh, some of these might be on the threshold list. We'll see in a second. We got a Tyrion, Polaritite Incorporated. That's PTE. Vertical Aerospace, NVIDIA, Viru, MEIP, and Agile Therapeutics. Next up, let's look at our uh, Ape Wisdom here. Ape Wisdom combines our Reddit and 4chan info together, and a lot of the different communities combines the upvotes uh, and the volume of talking about them. So ATER, SPY, AMD, GameStop, NVIDIA, Tesla, SST. There's Vertical Aerospace, so this is a new one, kind of like, you know, Popping on up, I'm noticing. Look at that. If you look above the menu word on the screen, you'll see 18,000%. What that indicates is how many, uh, how much it's being, to uh, I'm sorry, how many p positions up it has moved in the past 24 hours. And uh, it's going up 18,000%. So there's something behind this. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what, but you can tell there's something going on. And that's one of the reasons that we like to uh, go through this together. There it is. You know I'm going to do it. Go, go, gadget, inflate, internet. Uh, so that is go, go, inflate, internet, up 61%. It's at 15. Bit Niles falling. Twitter's falling a little bit in mentions. Travel Centers of America going up. See, that's where I'm just talking about those numbers right there. Now we see Apria uh, up 625%. So I haven't I haven't said that name before. So that's the thing. I've been, now been doing this and reading through these with you all. So sometimes you'll have like the old dogs, you know, the ones that we're seeing, and I don't know, maybe some of those charts are going up, maybe some are going down, maybe I'm there to sideways. But when I see ones that I haven't seen before, those are the ones oftentimes I'll to start to look into, you know? But uh, not financial fried rice. DWAC, we got ARC, Cooper Tire, Strive Foods. We got... BBIG and Parsley Energy, Amazon, Alphabet, OI Glass. I'll chill it out there on the top 30 uh, area and slowly scroll back here in case you have eyes on the screen and you want to look into any of these plays in pre-market. Just go ahead up here. Now we have our top 15 and above. Meta, JP, Microsoft, Apple, QQQs, AMC, Vertical Aerospace. All right, there we are. And last thing to cap off our short report for the day, let's look at our threshold security list. So these are the uh, shares that have not been returned to their original owners. Threshold, uh, come on, get it on there. There we go. So we do see a newbie on our threshold security list. A-T-E-R. Oh, pointing the wrong way. A-T-E-R. Uh, this one hasn't been on here yet. So now, ATER has a wildly high cost to borrow. It's got a very high short interest of the free float, uh, and it's on the threshold security list. So those are just like extra things, and that's no way going to say it's definitely going to do anything, but I just try and look into some stuff sometimes and, and see if they're on multiple lists together. We got Beyond, Creative, uh, Community West, CYRN, DRCT, FFIE, FTAG, and GFAI. HYDR, we got Highcroft and IMPP, uh, Imperial Pete. I may just start calling it that. Uh, Jasper, Long, Jeveron, we got McLeod and Mercurity, Mullen, MURFW, PBHC, SDIG, SOXQ, and SYTA, and VLON. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this morning's short report on Wednesday 13th here at uh, Bulldog Trading. You guys are awesome out there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.
Okay, everybody, thank you for tuning in to that. That was our live recording of the short report. I'm just going to pop these numbers over real fast so we can get that clipped and turn my attention back to chat and say hello to everybody.